Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Now let's work on the problem 25 in chapter 4. This one is a little bit difficult, but I think we can do it together and solve it. In this one, the first thing is draw a picture to see what happens. Uh, this is the, the sprinter, right? The total displacement is 100 meters, and then the motion, the time taken in this motion is just 10 seconds. This is Vino. And then tell us the mass for the sprinter. And see, it tells us at the first part, the first 45 meter, uh, it just accelerates speed up to reach the top speed. So at the very beginning initial, the initial velocity is zero. And then the displacement at the first part, 45 meter. At the uh, top speed, we consider it is V, and we don't know yet. And then after that, at the part two, uh, it just uh, keeps the same constant speed, V, right? But the, the displacement in the part two is just uh, 55 meter. So this is the situation that happens. Ask you to find the average horizontal component of the force act on. So in this one, we need to find the force and during the acceleration part, during the power one. So in this one, we can see, do we have any other given quantities? Yes, because we know this is T1, this is T2, and the total time taken is 10 seconds. So this is all the given quantities. And the next one, the mass is given, we need to find the force. And then we need to consider the Newton's second law the net force equals the mass times acceleration. You see, mass is there. So we need to figure out acceleration at this part. Do you agree? Yes, the acceleration at this part, we can list equations to solve it. First thing, let's look at the speeding up, acceleration part. So acceleration part, we can say the displacement d1 equals initial velocity v0 t1 plus one half a t square, agree? In this one, V0 is zero, so we get the, at this part, D1 is just one half A T1 square. And then we look at the part two. As a part two, the velocity is a constant. For constant velocity, D2 should equal to V times T2, and T2 is just a 10 minus T1, because T1 plus T2 is 10 seconds. Do you agree? And also, see, now we have two equations. D1, D2, and then we have three unknown quantities, acceleration, T1, and V. It looks like we need another equation to solve it. Which one? This one, right? Because the velocity at this peak should be initial velocity plus the acceleration times T1. So this V0 is zero, and then we get the V equal to acceleration times T1. See, now you can see we have three equations, three unknown quantities. We can solve it. And then we can simplify it. D1 is one half a t1 squared. D2, we input the v inside is a t1 turn minus t1. In this one, we can, d1, d2 is given. And then we can solve the equation, get its acceleration and t1. Once we get acceleration, we can find its force. And also we can find its velocity at the peak. So this is the strategies how we solve the problems. And then we can look at it together. And this is the equation, as I just said. And then we input the numbers, we find the velocity for this one. And then after we get the acceleration, right? And then we can get the force and the speed and the peak. Thank you.